Hello friends, welcome to the help videos of the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. In this video, we will see how to implement Google conversion tracking and dynamic remarketing tags from our app. First, let's understand what is conversion tracking and what does it do. Conversion tracking is a coding implementation process that helps merchants track actions that are valuable from a business point of view. This action can be anything like signing up for a newsletter, downloading an app, purchasing any item, or adding products to your cart. What is dynamic remarketing? Dynamic remarketing means to specifically retarget those potential customers who visited your site by showing them ads of the exact same product which they have viewed on your site or added to cart but did not purchase. Why should you use our conversion tracking and dynamic remarketing tag feature? The conversion tracking code that is available from Google is a raw code. You will need to customize the raw code based on the coding language to pass all the required parameters for the conversion actions in your Google Ads account. However, Implementing the code from our app is super easy. You don't need any coding experience or developers help to modify and insert the code in your Shopify store. It can be done in just a few clicks. The code inserted by the app will track leads or conversions, such as add to cart, begin checkout, and purchases. It will also help you insert a dynamic remarketing tag with all required parameters with dynamic variables. Let's see how to implement this feature from our app. Firstly, please log into our app. Hover over to the Tracking Tags tab on the main header and click on Google Dynamic Remarketing and Conversion Tracking. Now, since you are implementing conversion tracking for the first time from our app, it will show the Sign In with Google button. Here, you need to integrate your Google Ads account with our app. Click the Sign In with Google button and select the email ID with which you would like to link your Google Ads account. Make sure the email you use has admin access to the Google Ads account you are linking. After you select the email ID, you need to grant our app some permissions to manage your Google Ads account. Accept it by clicking the Allow button. Now, you will be taken back to the app interface and from the drop-down menu, select your Google Ads account and click on the Link Your Account option. Once you link your Google Ads account, you will find the page for enabling the App Embed option. This option is for granting our app permission to insert scripts in the Shopify theme section. The scripts could be for tracking tags for any platform, automated discount feature, or meta tag for domain verification. To enable this click on Activate App Embed Now, which will take you to the App Embed section of your Shopify store. The tracking tags and scripts option would already be enabled and you just need to click the save button. Once you save this setting, go back to the app interface and click on the recheck extension, which will now show you the options to enable the conversion tracking tags that will be implemented by our app. Please note that our app's conversion tracking and dynamic remarketing will continue working even if you modify your Shopify store's theme as long as the theme app extension is active. Click on continue to proceed further. Kindly be aware that it is important to remove any conversion tracking or dynamic remarketing scripts you may have added manually or through other sources in Shopify checkouts additional scripts and theme. If you are unsure of any existing tags or how to remove them, kindly take the help of our support team. Merchants enabling the conversion tracking using newly created Google Ads account. These merchants will only see the Create New Conversions option. Click on the Create New Conversions button and complete the process. Merchants enabling the conversion tracking with old Google Ads accounts. Please note that our app also provides the option to select existing conversion actions created from other sources. The previously created conversion actions will be listed on this page. You can select the desired actions and click on Continue. Let's move on to the next scenario. Due to some reason, if you have disabled any previously enabled conversion tracking or dynamic remarketing tags from our app, you will see the inactive status as shown here. 
To enable these, click on Activate and follow the same steps as seen earlier and complete the process. After you have completed the process from our app, let's take a look at the Google Ads account. Let's start with the conversion actions first. Hover over to the settings icon and select the conversions option. You will see the conversion actions implemented from our app. Kindly notice the status of these actions which are currently inactive. This is because the conversion tags have been recently implemented. Once the Google Ads account receives conversions from Google Paid Ads, the status will change to active. Also, keep in mind that if there are no conversions from paid ads for a consecutive period of seven days, the status will again turn to no recent conversions. Now, coming to the dynamic remarketing tags implemented from our app. To see the audience lists, kindly navigate to the settings icon and select the audience manager option. Among these, all visitors, general visitors, past buyers, product viewers, and shopping cart abandoners are the lists created automatically by Google through the dynamic remarketing tags implemented from our app. So this was all about conversion tracking and dynamic remarketing from the Simprosis Google Shopping Feed app. Hope this helps. Please feel free to reach out to our support at support at for any further clarification.